Hello, and thank you for joining me today on Live With a Purpose. We want to grow in the Lord. We want to grow. We want to have a deeper relationship with the Lord. Sometimes we just pray, and all we're doing is asking and ask God to get us out of this situation, and if you could help us with this, and some sin and some issue and family problems at work. But uh, there's a sort of regiment that we have to follow that the Scripture talks about. And it's a certain mindset, there's a certain heart, there's a certain way that we should pray, a certain way that we should view things. Uh, we're told to pray, yes, we're told to pray. But there are other things that come alongside it. If all we do is pray and not focus on honoring the Lord and thanking Him and uh, believing in our hearts that the Lord is there, that the Holy Spirit is working, uh, we think that we're doing all the work. And it becomes hard and sluggish and somewhat unproductive. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 16 to 19, it says, Rejoice always, pray constantly, give thanks in everything, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Don't stifle the Spirit. We're told to pray constantly, but we're also told to rejoice in the Lord, to give thanks, not to stifle the Spirit. How will we stifle the Spirit? by not thanking the Lord, by not acknowledging that the Holy Spirit of God is working, that He is the one that changes hearts and minds, that uh, He is helping us to pray, as in Romans chapter 8. It is God that wants us to be in community with Him, with His Holy Spirit, with the Lord Jesus. It is the Father that wants to hear from us, not just for a few minutes a day and then we go on our business, but to have a certain mindset, to be rejoiceful, that even if there is illness, there is death, there are problems, we know that we are saved. And we know how things turn out in the end. Yes, are there bad times here on earth? Yes. But we don't live. We don't live with the mindset for this earth, for this world. We live for the world to come, for God's kingdom to come. And that kingdom begins in the here and now in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the body of Christ, by coming together, by worshiping together, by encouraging one another, by reminding others that we have reason to rejoice, even when there's pain. And this way, we don't stifle the Spirit, we don't hold back the work, because we are rejoicing, we are praying constantly in our minds and in our hearts, and we open our mouths, and we're giving thanks to the Lord. For everything, primarily for salvation. Think about this today on Live with a Purpose.